This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So you want to get into animation. What gear do you need? What software do you need? What do I use for my animations? That's exactly what I'm going to be covering in today's video. I'm breaking this video up into sections and I'm going to warn you now that if you want to produce like a YouTube video, like an animated story time video, the tools that you need to do that well, they can get kind of pricey, so be warned up front. The way this video is structured is that I start out with the basics. If you just want to try out animation, you've never really done it before, and you want to know, hey, what's the fuss about? Then you're going to start off at the beginning of this video with kind of the cheapest, lowest end apps that you could use to do this. And then as the video goes on, I'm going to build it up and I'm going to wind up talking about many of the tools and things like that that I use for my animation channel. And I'm going to keep going past that and even talk about some of the tools that are just so high end that they're even used in animation studios to make probably some of your favorite cartoons. Animation can get pretty expensive. So say you only have a phone or an iPad or an Android tablet, there are some simple animation apps out there that are great places to start. So if you're just starting out, never done animation before, the app that I would check out is called Flip a Clip. It is available for Android, it is available on iPhones, iPad OS, and it is a simple frame by frame animation app. You create a frame, you draw something in it. You make another frame, you draw your next cell in it. And you do that over and over and over again, and then you hit play and you see the animation roll. There's some other stuff that this app lets you do pretty easily too. For example, you can take a photo and use that as a background, or even use one of the backgrounds that they already have preloaded into the app. There's even some audio tools. I can record my voice for the animation or import a sound clip or do that sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. Flip a clip isn't the most advanced tool out there, but if you want to do short little 30 second animations, it'll do the trick. If you want to do something that's like five minutes long, 10 minutes long, uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it for that, but it's a good place to start. I give it two thumbs up for a cheap place to get your feet wet first. The other app that's worth taking a look at if you have an iPad is an app called Procreate. You've probably heard me talk about Procreate here on this channel before. It is one of my favorite apps. It is one of the most popular iPad drawing apps out there, but it also has some pretty basic animation features. It's also very limited. You can't import audio into it. You can't import video into it. However, you have this amazing set of drawing tools and brushes and in all of that at your disposal and you could do some little animations with it and it's it's pretty fun to play with now some of you are probably sitting there going hey i have a windows computer what what can i use there there's other apps available out there something like clip studio isn't a bad option it's relatively inexpensive clip studio has a ton of options in it it's kind of like photoshop but just for illustrations and built in it also has some animation tools and things like that and there's some other drawing apps out there that also have some small animation features, you know, it's kind of sprinkled in as well. I don't have time to cover those here today, but know that they're out there. All right, so I'm going to go through literally everything that I use. Some of this stuff is higher end than what you need, but I want to give you an idea of all of the pieces that it takes to fit this puzzle together. First, I need to record my voice, and I have a pretty nice mic for that. Nothing crazy, but you're going to get much better quality out of a good USB mic than what you're going to get out of just, say, talking into your phone or talking to your computer. Then what I want to do is I need to take that audio and I need to splice it up into something tighter. What I do with a lot of these is I record a line and then I record a another line and I like to cut out the space in between or I might record a line and mess it up and then I have to like re-record that line so I need to edit that all together and so I'm going to use an audio editing app to do that. I use Adobe Premiere, but the one that I know a lot of other animators have taken advantage of is something called Audacity. Wait, isn't Premiere a video editing app? Yeah, it is, but I'm gonna end up using that in the end anyway to bring my video into. I'm getting ahead of myself. But yes, I am using Premiere to edit my audio. It works pretty good for that. So I set up the audio, I export the WAV file, and then I pull that into an app called Adobe Animate. And I know, I know, the Adobe apps, they're a little expensive. It's usually about $50, $55 a month. 
yes, a month to basically rent the software. It is expensive, but when you get into the higher end pro level stuff, you're, you're gonna find that more and more, especially in the animation world. Hold up, I'm not done spending your money there because if you're using Adobe Animate, you're probably going to want to draw directly in the program. So you're going to need some kind of graphics tablet to do that. A simple graphics tablet without a screen is probably gonna start you around $60. Which one do I recommend? I've got an entire YouTube channel here where I've reviewed them. There's several good ones from Huion and XP Pen and Wacom out there. If you want one with the screen, those are more expensive. Those usually start around $250 for like a Huion or an XP Pen tablet. Those are pretty solid. They have some drawbacks. They're kind of cheapy. Uh, Wacom has some, but those are really expensive. I wouldn't recommend their lower end stuff. Um, but I would definitely say that uh, investing in a good graphics tablet is something you're going to want to do if you want to take this seriously. I personally do a lot of my drawings, at least of the backgrounds and some of the character sketches in Procreate on the iPad first, mostly because I just really like using Procreate. I think the tools are great. Then I import those over to my computer, but I'm still doing a lot of the drawing on the fly directly in Adobe Animate. One of the reasons I like programs like Animate is that I don't have to draw every single frame by hand, like I do in something like Flip a Clip. It would take me three months to make a 10 minute video if I did it that way. Instead, I set up a lot of my artwork as symbols and I create libraries. What, is, what does that mean? A symbol is a reusable part. So for example, I may draw a character's head and that is now a symbol in my library. And then I can take that head and I could pull it out and I could plop it on the canvas so I don't have to redraw that head each and every time. If I want that head to say, move back and forth, I can program it basically to do that so I don't have to redraw it in different positions. I could just tween it is what it's called, which is just moving the head from one end to the other. The other thing I do with a lot of my illustrations is you'll see the eyes blink or you'll see different poses I have with the hands sticking up every which way. That's another thing that's done through symbols. So I have the different poses, I have the different eyes, and I can just say, hey, I want this one here and this one here and this one here. And so I'm not just redrawing every single asset every single time. Huge time saver. Also, if you see people or cartoons that are lip syncing, they're doing much of the same thing is they'll draw out like six or seven different mouths. Each mouth has like a different shape for a different sound that your voice makes. And then they figure out on frame by frame, we're like, okay, we're gonna use this mouth here. And we're gonna use this mouth here instead of redrawing it every single time and hope that they line up in the end. Animate lets me zoom in on objects and it lets me make a camera and pan around the scene. You, you could do a lot of stuff. You could even do character rigs in there and there's something called a character creator where you could, yeah, there, there's a lot of features. Many of them I don't even touch, but they really speed up the process. Okay, are there any other software options out there? Yes, there are. Let's take a look at those. Before I jump in, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights, all in one easy-to-use platform. Squarespace has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has the merchandising features that you need to make your products look their best online. Squarespace takes all the guesswork out of search engine optimization for your website, which means you'll get found in search by more people more often. Check out Squarespace squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash brag colbo to save 10 percent on your first purchase of a website or domain okay the adobe programs they're pretty expensive are there any animation programs out there that are maybe on par or even better than adobe animate yes as a matter of fact there are. There's one out there called Moho, it costs $400, and it, yes, I said $400. I told you this is expensive. It is a pro-level animation app. It's used by pros. It has made some of the cartoons that you know and love, real ones, on the television set. It could do a lot of the things that Adobe Animate can do. In fact, it can handle a lot of 3D objects and character rigging that are beyond what Adobe Animate does. There's also Toon Boom Harmony. Toon Boom is a whole suite of animation products. There's a storyboard 
storyboarding app, like a project management app. Harmony is their animation app. And like Adobe's apps, these also have a cost to them. It starts at $25, it goes up from there. There's different price levels, but if you just wanted to use Toon Boom Harmony and try it out, it would be $25 a month. So yeah, when you get to these pro level tools, your hobby, it gets expensive. All right, I'm gonna throw you a bone at this point. I'm gonna give you a free app. So shout out here to a 3D app called Blender. It is a 3D rendering program that is absolutely free. It's pretty awesome. It works in a totally different way than Adobe Animate, but can do some amazing things. Wow, why didn't you say so, Brad? There is a catch. I have tried on many occasions to learn Blender. I still know a little bit about it, but I will say the learning curve of Blender and learning many of these 3D tools is pretty steep. It's pretty hard. Worth checking out if you're interested in it though, because you could do some amazing, amazing things. So this is a far from complete list, but I wanted to give you kind of the setup. Where do you start? What kind of things do you need? But what do you think? Let me know down below. What didn't I cover? Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.